The Steelers have just $5.7 million in effective cap space, so it doesn't seem like they can bring in any free agents, but they actually have a ton of flexibility if they make some smart moves that really won't harm their team in any significant way. The first move is the most obvious. It's to cut Allen Robinson, which will bring in $10 million. Robinson brought in 280 yards in 17 games and averaged 8 yards a reception, which are both low-end running back numbers, not slot wide receiver numbers. So at 31 years old, I think it's time to move on from Robinson because I just don't see him getting any better with age. And Calvin Austin is not great, but I think he can do about as well as Robinson did this past season. And he's going to do that at a far cheaper price and as somebody that has some upside as a developing player. The next move is to cut Patrick Peterson, which will bring in $6.9 million. Peterson was 86th out of 127 cornerbacks in PFF grade, so he really wasn't any good this year, aside from when he played as safety, where he was solid. But the thing is, Minka Fitzpatrick is elite, and DeMonte KZ is solid as well, so I don't really see there being a ton of playing time for the 34-year-old Patrick Peterson. So again, you can save money on a guy that's not really going to be doing much as a third safety, And you're going to get younger because 34 for a defensive back is pretty ancient. So I think it makes a ton of sense to get rid of Peterson as well. The final move is to cut Larry Ogunjobi, which will bring in $6.2 million. He was 81 out of 109 in PFF pressure grades this past season. And he wasn't much better as a run defender because he was 70th out of 137 run defenders on the defensive interior. So it kind of becomes a question of what are you really bringing to the table? $6.2 million is nothing to scoff at. You can get a solid rotational defensive interior player for that amount. And they'll actually be able to do something specifically good. Whereas Ogunjobi is kind of just poor at both aspects of the game, which with Keanu Benton being great as a rookie and Cam Hayward being elite as always, there's kind of a question on where Ogunjobi really fits in. For the additions the Steelers should look into, Tyler Biadash makes a ton of sense. He can be brought in for about three years, $21 million in total. He is about dead average as a center, according to PFF grades, ranking 14th out of 36 centers last year. He calls protections very well, though, and is a solid combo blocker, which adds a lot of value for this Steelers rushing attack that's going to be their bread and butter. And he would mark a clear upgrade over what Mason Cole gave them, as he's actually a solid pass protector, whereas Cole was very, very poor and was probably the biggest issue for pass protection for the Steelers this past season, which ranked as one of the bottom five pass protecting offensive lines in the entire league. The next edition, I have a full video on, if you would like to watch a greater breakdown on it, is to bring in Ryan Tannehill for about $5.5 million a year for two years, As I said, there's a video done on him, so I'm not really going to get into it too much here. But pretty much, he offers a much safer floor than Pickett does. And his ceiling is actually fairly high, given his success in the past with Arthur Smith. So I think it makes a ton of sense to bring in Tannehill. I also think it would make a ton of sense to bring in Russ, because he's going to be making about the minimum. And at that point... That's a great deal for a quarterback that's about average in this league. So I think it makes sense to bring in either of those quarterbacks or possibly even both and have a competition. And at that point, you'll feel safe in knowing that Pickett has actually earned the starting job if he gets it, or you're going to have somebody that's better than Pickett playing, which are both good scenarios, really. Those are my thoughts on what the Steelers should do. Be sure to let me know what yours are. And also be sure to like and subscribe for more NFL content.